Bibliophiles of the internet, my name is Adriana and today I'm here to share my TBR for the Asian Readathon. This is a month-long reading event created by Cindy from Read with Cindy to celebrate Asian Pacific American Heritage Month which I've been prepping for myself over the past few weeks. In the description below I will have all of the relevant information, links for all the co-hosts, and a complete list of the reading challenges. It's also important to note that if you're going to be doing the reading challenges, each book you read has to be representative of a different Asian ethnicity in order for it to qualify for that challenge. I really appreciate that because so many people claim they don't know the difference between what it means to be Japanese, Vietnamese, Chinese, Korean, Cambodian, Indian, Filipino, Taiwanese, so on and so forth. But there is a difference and we need to acknowledge and celebrate that difference. There's also this amazing Google Doc that breaks down recommendations based on the reading challenges and also by the culture of the authors with links to a bunch of additional resources. I will also link that down below because it is extremely well put together and you should definitely check it out. Now what I'm about to go over is a partial TBR because I have a lot of own voices Asian books I would very much love to read in this moment and it's way more than I could actually fit in four and a half weeks. I don't yet know how my reading will fit into the challenges but I will try to include the ethnicity of the authors in these synopses. First up is a book I will definitely be reading starting on May 1st, and that is Ruse by Cindy Pon. This is a piece of Own Voices Taiwanese sci-fi. It's the sequel to Want, which I read in 2018, which is basically about this elaborate techno heist. It's set in a futuristic Taipei where society has divided itself into Yo's and Mei's. To be Yo is to have, and to be Mei is to want. In this future, air pollution has become so prevalent that just being in contact with the air brings severe illnesses and viruses, and the rich Yo's of society have access to these high-tech biosuits that filter out the air while the maze don't. The main character, Jason Zhao, is basically on a mission to infiltrate Jin Corp, the corrupt manufacturer of these suits, by passing himself off as a yo. And this sequel basically picks up right after the heist, and I'm extremely curious to see what happens next. Second is a book that should come as no surprise, it's Dragon Pearl by Yoon Ha Lee. This is an own voices middle grade sci-fi adventure that centers Korean culture like much of Yoon Ha Lee's work. It's about Min, whose family can use fox magic to cast charms and shapeshift. However, her family is forbidden from using that magic. Min's older brother, Jun, is part of the space forces, and Min would like nothing more than to go off and join him so that she can escape her impoverished home planet. Until one day, word comes back that Jun has abandoned his post in search of the mythical dragon pearl, which doesn't sound like something he would do in the slightest. So Min immediately sets off in search of Jun and the dragon pearl in order to clear her brother's name for good. I stan Yoon Ha Lee's work for life, and I know this foray into middle grade will be no different. On a very different note, I would love to finally read Not Another Family Wedding by Jackie Lau. This is a romance novella, and I believe the author is biracial, so I don't yet know anything more specific than that. It's about Natalie Chin Williams, who has had a lot of failed relationships, and now her younger sister is getting married in a matter of months, while Natalie is, of course, very single herself. And I believe she invites a longtime friend to be her wedding date, and I guess they somehow accidentally kiss, which leads to some new and confusing feelings. I ordered this ebook months in advance, and I've been sitting on it for so long, so now the time definitely seems right. Right. Another book I think I want to commit myself to is a new release called Descendant of the Crane by Joan He. This is an own voices Chinese YA fantasy about Princess Hesina who lives in a kingdom that has outlawed magic. But when her father, the king, is murdered, she enlists a soothsayer's help, which is a treasonous act punishable by death. And in her pursuit of justice, I believe the princess joins forces with a legendary investigator slash convicted criminal who has his own secrets. It's a fantastical mystery story and a standalone fantasy book on top of that, so my heart is pretty set on this. Another book I've wanted to read for a very long time is You Go First by Erin Entrada Kelly. I know the author has Filipino heritage, and I don't yet know if either of these characters share that heritage or not. But this is a middle grade story about two kids, Charlotte and Ben, who live thousands of miles away from each other and have never met, but they're online friends. They've connected with each other over this Scrabble game on the internet, but they also have a lot in common since they're both gifted, they're both going through family hardships, and they both sit by themselves at lunch. And I think the story is about both of them trying to navigate middle school while also meeting over their Scrabble games and sharing pieces of their lives. This is another one I've been holding on to for a very long time, and this readathon would give me the perfect excuse to finally read it. Now there's a lot of honorable mentions still floating around the outskirts of my consciousness, like When Dibble Met Rishi, Arusha and the End of Time, I Hear the Sunspot, A River in Darkness, Somewhere Only We Know, The Bride Test, The Matchmaker's List, The Descent of Monsters. There's a lot, folks. 
and I could still read any number of those books. I'm just waiting to see how the month goes. So those are some books I'm considering for the Asian readathon. If you're taking part yourself, I would love to hear about your TBR choices in the comments. But that's everything I have for this TBR today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and I'll catch you on the flip side of the page.